Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. It's a rainy Christmas Eve here in North Carolina, uh, but uh, not too, too, too cold. It's 46 degrees and the sun's not even up yet, so it's going to get a little warmer. So just thank goodness there's no snow. <laughs> That's all I can say. So uh, this is my Thrifty Thursday video to share with you what I have picked up at thrift stores in the past week. That's what I do every Thursday, is post this little uh, video to share with you my uh, junk journal goodies that I've picked up. So, let's see, where to start? Uh, what would make a good base? I think we'll start with the books, <laughs> and then I can pile stuff on top of those. And the biggest book, let me go to the bottom here, so I can put that on the bottom of my pile. I'm gonna put everything over here beside me in a chair. So this book I found this week, I thought it was really pretty and I have seen this before. I don't think I, I don't know where I've seen it though, but I don't think I've ever bought one before. You know what I mean? I guess I've seen it on YouTube with other people making journals or using the pages or something, but I just really like this uh, little kind of sewing basket, uh, you know, uh, organizer on the top here where everything's, see all the little threads here? Isn't that pretty? And then all the little other little sewing notions here. Even the pins. Look at the how. I mean, would your sewing basket ever look like that with the pins laid out like that? But I think it's so pretty. Anyway, look, and there's some needles. Anyway, so it's a Reader's Digest. The back is the same way. I love, love this book. I already have a sewing book for myself. Not the same one, but... One like this, uh, where it's like landscape orientation as far as, you know, the pages being laid out like this instead of uh, vertical, they're horizontal. So, and here's the inside of this one. It's like in perfect condition. It's vintage. And it is probably going to go in my shop because, like I said, I already have one. A sewing book. Look at, I like the, these are fabrics, I guess. But here's all the little, you know, sewing instructions. And I just saw some ladies here. I wanted to see that what that looked like. Oh, right here. This is really cute. I like this. <laughs> Look at showing the different ways. Um, what is it? Fabric. <clears throat> Pattern and fabric creating illusions. So just really pretty there. And anyway, let's see what year this is. Because I don't think I've looked at that yet. I've got some shadows going on. Like I said, it's not light outside, so I've got two lights going on here. 1976, so. And that's just, I mean, uh, really a little tiny, you know, a little bit of wear on the cover, like as far as the corners, see that? I mean, really nothing <laughs> comparatively to how old, you know, 1976. It's not super, super old, but it's not, you know, it's been around a while, so. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Here's the next biggest book. Now, this one I am keeping. I've never found one like this before. And I picked it up and I thought, hmm, this looks interesting. It's a paperback cover, like a cardstock, you know, thick cardstock. And let's see, it says 1985 there. Let's see if it has a copyright. It's the Architectural, what is it? Architectural History of Randolph County, North Carolina. That is, let's see. Here's the, some of the cities that are in Randolph County, Asheboro. If you've ever been to North Carolina or you live in North Carolina, you're familiar with Randolph County. But it says uh, Asheboro. Is that? Anyway. Uh, yeah, there's there's other cities there. But does, I always thought it might say here, but it doesn't. Anyway, let's see if, if there's a copyright. Uh, a copyright is 1985, too, right here. So anyway, what I when I picked this up at the thrift store... I was like, oh, this looks interesting. Let's see what this is. And then I started looking. And I really like architecture. I like my 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 dad and my brothers are both into construction. And so, you know, I grew up with uh, learning about building <laughs> and in construction and uh, architecture. And, you know... My bro my brothers, especially my one brother in Florida and my dad, they actually do the um, architectural elements where they add architectural elements to the outside and really the inside of houses too. But 
So I would see, you know, they would take us around and my dad and my even my brother would take us around to show us the houses they worked on. Very, you know, interesting, you know, architecture and different things like that that they would do and special touches. So when I saw this, I was like, this is so cool. And plus I like just different styles of houses, you know, the Cape Cod and, you know, the um, different styles. And so that's what this is uh, from this particular county in North Carolina and some really commercial buildings and residential. And I just thought it was so cool and something that I would like to use in my journals. I could just see taking one of these pages out, you know, and folding it. I mean, look, I could fold this right in half and have a beautiful page in a journal. And I mean, just really cool looking. I mean, some of them, these are like old houses, so they're not like pristine looking houses. Some of them are and some of them aren't. They're just what they are, you know what I mean? So it's just a picture of what they are. Churches, I just saw a church. Um, just all kinds of buildings. I really love the old commercial buildings too. You know, like a two or three story brick building, just different styles of that. And just, here's here's a log little log cabin there. You know, Victorian, just all kinds of cool stuff in here. I just thought it was so cool. I was like, I must have this and use this in my journals. I don't, it's very different from anything I have. So I just thought it would be a lot of fun to use. Here's a some kind of a certificate from a manufacturing company there. So see how very interesting this is. <clears throat> so I picked that up this week. And then another gem that I have never, I don't believe I've ever found one of these before at a thrift store for a reasonable price. I've seen them. I saw that some of these, I think, at a antique flea market. Is it called the antique festival? An antique festival that I go to once in a while. Usually once a year I'll go. Um, but uh, the prices were too high, like <clears throat> like $7 each. And I wasn't going to pay that. You know what I mean? I was like, huh, you know, <laughs> these are so cool, but I'm not going to pay $7 each. It's just too much. So anyway, I found finally found one at a, good, at a decent price. And it, I think it's really beautiful. First of all, I like these a vintage or retro images on the front here. And then the whole thing is like that. It, the whole thing is just so many pages that uh, can be used if I want to take this apart. If I can take this apart, I should say, <laughs> in a journal. There's even a piece of old ephemera in here. Just some kind of a little order form. A registration form. I thought that was cool. That that came in the book. Look at this. I mean, isn't that the cutest thing ever? <laughs> uh, so cool. I I hope I find more of these. Eventually, I've like I said, I've never found one at at a at a um, thrift store at a decent price. So I was very delighted when I found this. But disease. Every page has some cool stuff on it. Diagrams. Oh, there was a blueprint back here too somewhere. I saw, I mean, see the colors and the little pictures. Where's the blueprint? Here it is. Isn't that neat? I love it. <laughs> anyway, I love that book. That's so cool. A uh, couple of little golden books here. I'm trying to put some of my little golden books in my shop. One of my uh, friends and subbies, Mary, has has encouraged me <laughs> by, by asking me if she could um, purchase some of my books. She encouraged me because I didn't know if I could sell them and I actually did sell a few. So that kind of broke the ice for me to be able to list some and, and part with some in my in my Etsy shop. So I think I have one. <laughs> I have one in there right now. But I think I'm going to put some more in there <clears throat> as I get time. But here's three that I found this week. Sorry, it's morning. Uh, the Little Golden Book of Hymns. And let's see, I do like to tell you that. I do like to tell you the copyrights. 1980. Is it 1980? 1985, I believe, on that one. And this is a cute one if you haven't seen it before. See how pretty these pictures are. 
Are they gorgeous or what? <laughs> Colors, and it's got music. So it's, the, you know, hymns. And um, what else did I want to tell you about it? I don't know. I think that was it. Good condition. No, no, I don't see any writing or tears or anything. So it's not coming apart. It looks, you know, looks to be in very good condition. The night before Christmas. Let's see. The back of this one was the yellow too. Okay. And let's see what this one is. What kind of year this one is and condition. Not coming apart or anything. The pages look new. Like very good condition. There's a little corner bent there, but that's not a big deal. Uh, this one is uh, 1987. So really cute on that one. <clears throat> I love the shy little kitten. Whether it's new or old, I just love this, this book. So cute, first of all. And then this one looks to be in very good condition. And this one says, well, this is one that is, uh, well, the latest date here is 1974. But I believe this is one that they, they don't have the latest copyright in here. They just reprinted it. And so you can tell it's new, right? <laughs> it's 75 year, uh, you know, kind of anniversary reprinted, uh, con you know, edition. So, you know, you can't go buy the copyright on these, but uh, super cute anyway. So, the next pile, I have some weird stuff I bought this week. Very different and unique. <laughs> a, I found this, and I was like, you know, I really would like to see if I do anything with this. It was hardly, cost me hardly anything, but I thought, these are leather tassels. And it has this braided leather, um, you know, cord here. And I thought, maybe, you know, I could do something with this. It didn't cost me hardly anything, so why not? Have some, see if I can have some fun with that. So just some leather tassels I picked up. And this too, this is a macrame belt. And I was already looking at something made with like macrame. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I have any string or something I could use to make this macrame item I wanted to possibly do. And I found this belt and I was like, well, this is perfect. It's got this, I guess this is macrame string or whatever you call macrame cording. It's got these wood beads and it looked in the store when I found it, I thought it looked like something I could take apart and you know, reconfigure into what I wanna make. And then I've got all of this string to use. So that is another weird thing I purchased this week. <laughs> something really different, but I have something in mind already. So that's why I got it. And I think it, it could be really cool if it works out. So just stay tuned for that. Um, these are some record album papers. Uh, I think, what did I find? I think I found some record albums, but it wasn't, there was no record in it. <laughs> there was no record in it. So um, I just got the papers that are inside. And I like this, this side especially. This one, this side has a hole. Which I still think I can use for something. You know, I still think I can use this in a journal. This side here. And do something with that. But this side is, there's no hole. So I really like this side. Uh, buyer's Bulletin. It's just real, just cool looking. And there's, I found, I got two the same. So I got two of those. Let's see, what else? Well, let me go through the fabric real quick here. This is um, just some, I guess, fabric that people um, used part of it. Or this one's damaged right here. So I don't know if it came from a store and they just donated this to the thrift store. But there's, of course, a lot I can use here or share in my shop. But it's like raggedy. It looks like raggedy, kind of like raggedy Ann. I don't know if it really is raggedy Ann. But see this? Here's the two like rag dolls that are on here. And it's a, a girl and a boy. So uh, whether it is or not, it doesn't matter. I just thought it was really cute and it can be used in some kind of a... Little Golden Book Journal, Raggedy Ann Journal, or even a baby journal. You know what I mean? So here's some patchwork. Of course, this could be farm journal. Any kind of journal, really, that this fabric would go with. And then here is some, this is like kind of like baby um, related. Or, you know, just cute patchwork again, but it has little letters and little figures. Like here's a squirrel. 
butterfly teddy bear and my favorite let me show you <laughs> let me turn it around there's even a bunny on here did you see that so cute <laughs> i love it <laughs> okay next fabric uh this one was super cute this is thicker like uh almost like a, you would use for upholstery can you maybe see that but it's super pretty too it has these really pretty flowers and little bugs on here <laughs> like lady I, I it doesn't it's not around like ladybug but they're super cute bugs you know yellow and blue you know they don't look real so that's that's what matters to me I don't want to see real bugs but I like the cute little pretend colorful bugs right and there's hearts on here too so I almost could use some of this for Valentine's if I want to make a Valentine journal or some Valentine ephemera or something quite a bit of it I mean look at these little berries here so cute and the flowers are just so pretty i mean i really really love it so i got that uh this one i found the jackpot of fabric this week didn't i <laughs> this one is so cool you can um cut out all these little pieces see this wouldn't these be great for pockets and things all these little squares to a friend's house the way is never long Life is a matter of living it. Haste makes waste. Uh, let your smile be your umbrella, maybe. Uh, just super cute. And so, yeah, I found this this week. Here's one with a B on it. To have a friend, you must be one. So cute, right? A stitch in time saves nine. Just, I love, I, you know, how can I not get that, right? Uh, this is a pillowcase. Uh, whenever I see a really pretty vintage pillowcase, I usually try to pick it up. And uh, I usually find, try to find the pair. Find a pair. This was just one. I couldn't find another one. I didn't see another one there. But, um, yep, I got that. And usually I put those in my shop. I put all the pillowcases in my shop. Okay, the next thing is a little weird. <laughs> this is a... I'm not going to open it completely up because it's very big. But I, what I saw was this pretty fabric, this yellow with um there's like people on here and let me just show you little like a little scene like a little farm scene like with a mill like a water mill wheel, wheel right there there's some birds and then these little people uh i don't know what they're doing they look like they're dancing or running around and <laughs> doing different things but this is actually a smock and it someone i believe someone made this Look here in the in the inside. Let me show you why I think someone made it. See how it's, you know, it does it. It looks very well made, but not professional. If you know what I mean. See this, right here. So and look at the, how the buttons are put on. There's like little metal buttons on here, and it looks like there's a hole where they're sewing. Like the button hole is not a normal slit. It's a hole with the um, thread around the hole, like a button hole, but round. And then <clears throat> this little button with one of the, you know, the ones that have the little prong on the back is pushed through the hole and then it's held on with this little clasp here. Very different. I have never seen buttons put on like that. So anyway, what I got it for was this yellow fabric. There's quite a bit here and it has these cool pockets on it too. So I don't know if this was someone's little smock they wore. Uh, somewhere like in uh, at school or in class or around the house, there's a there is a uh, safety pin right here clipped inside, just for emergencies probably <laughs> or something, but because it doesn't look like it's holding anything together. But anyway, uh, something really different. But you know, I just love that fabric, and I was like, you know, I have to get that because I passed up a couple of things like that where they were clothing. But I love the fabric, and I was like, I'm not passing this one up. This one's too good. I have to get this one. So these are like place placemats, round placemats, doilies, whatever. They're, um, you know, commercially made, but I thought they, these were really pretty. I have passed up on these before when I've seen them because, you know, I know they're new. And, but these were really pretty, and maybe, you know, I'm going to maybe coffee dye these. I, I could leave them like they are, or I could coffee dye them, so... That is another thing. 
we probably have a few more minutes where maybe I can get through the rest here. I found an old pattern. This is 19. I already looked at the dates, like 1972, something like that. So that, um, I found this, a group of, <laughs> I these are probably Christmas ornaments, but I thought I could use some of them separately, like these stars don't necessarily say Christmas. And uh, this heart, uh, even this is like a little holly hobby right here. She is Christmassy, though. There's a wreath there around her. But that, but the heart, I thought maybe that would be the first thing I would use since Valentine's coming is coming up. It's, you know, the heart with a, people in a sled. So that could just be wintry or Valentiny. So that I picked up, those little kind of stuffed ornaments and then the last two things are two bags of game pieces uh this one has let me see oh this one is clue this one is clue and it has all the little pieces here all the little clue pieces game pieces and it has the cards let me show you you know the cards if you play clue you know mr uh, green and all them <laughs> all the feet cards and then some then some game you know score sheets so here's some score sheets and I don't know if these are I couldn't tell if these were original to the game or somebody made copies and cut them out because they almost look like copies so I, I don't really know what the originals look like but anyway cool either way I do have copies or originals, whatever they are, of the uh, Clue game, little, you know, sheets where you keep track of who did what, you know, to solve the mystery. So uh, that was cool, I thought, and fun. I would you definitely use those score sheets in my journal, or even though, even if they are copies, I didn't copy them, so, you know. And then uh, this bag is Monopoly stuff. Uh, there's the money is in here, chance cards, uh, community. Those are the yellow ones. Are, let me see if the yellow ones are in here. Community chest, yes. And what else is in here? All the little houses and hotels and even the little, oh, well, here's the properties. Is that the properties? No, that's, where are, are the properties in here? I don't think the properties are in here. Let me see. What are, these are community chests. Uh, no properties, I guess. That's the only thing that's missing. But then the metal, well, I know this is probably putting glare on the uh, camera, so I won't hold it up. But all the little, you know, metal game pieces in, are in here. And they're metal. This is a metal set. So I don't know. They make the different games with different game pieces now. So, you know, I mean, all different kind of game pieces I played. What was the one I played the other day? Uh, oh, it was some version where it had really cool, you know, different game pieces anyway. But, uh, yeah, here's the race car and the, the dog and the, sh uh, what is that, the race horse, what is that, a horse, the hor race horse and the wheelbarrow, all that stuff is in here. So I thought it was pretty cool to find a little bag of Monopoly goodies. So that is it for this week. Hope you enjoyed. I'll let you go, and I will see you all in my next video. Merry Christmas, uh, since it's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day is uh, tomorrow, so everyone have a great time. I'll be back tomorrow, actually, with a happy mail. Uh, I like to do happy mail on holidays, I think. <laughs> it just coincidence that I did receive one from somebody. So thanks for watching today, and I'll see you later. Have a great day.